So what you're gonna need is you're just gonna need a Phillips One screwdriver. Oh, actually, Phillips One. In my case, I'm actually going to use a flathead, which is in this case going to be a two and a half inch, two and a half millimeter flathead. You just go and go ahead and unscrew this panel. Second one is going to be under the warranty seal. Warranty is void if seal is broken. And this back panel simply pops off. You just use your tiny screwdriver. And there it goes. And conventional wisdom would tell you, okay, let's just take the top off. See how easily it lift, uh, see how easily it can lift off lift itself off. However, that will be a mistake. Because in reality what this case calls for and every case is different, they're all like puzzle boxes, is that you put this, uh, this thing on the side and you proceed to literally rip the side off. Gently. But it takes a lot of effort and it sounds like things are breaking. So we took one side off and it just comes off. You don't have to try to separate the rubber from the plastic. The whole thing just comes off. And we're going to go ahead and flip this case over. And we're just going to rip the other side off. Again, you do need to put some physical power. Try to do it one side at a time. And yes, it, it does require a lot of effort. What they do is they go into these slots. Now, what remains is the gray parts. These actually will come off very simply. So they say. And the issue with the gray parts is that the way they are connected and you probably cannot even see that. You basically just lift it up a little bit, okay? And you slide and you push it towards the front of the box. And that just opens this whole thing up, okay? Now, I'm just going to flip this over on the other side. And I'm just going to show you how to do it very, very slowly. You lift the the rear part up like this with your finger and with your finger just go ahead and push it to the front a little bit more effort this thing's a fun and if you do it right eventually it all comes off And I'm just going to go ahead and lift it all off. And you will see that the connectors here slide in. They slide inside the actual metal case. Okay. So now we have the metal case with the two drives. The final trick to this particular puzzle box is that on this side over here you have two more screws underneath the tape so what we'll do never mind I'm just going to lift it off you're going to carefully remove the copper tape starting on the side over here and you're just going to lift it off like this and notice that there is a screw over here as well okay so we're just going to proceed and go ahead and lift off the tape. And we're just going to remove the screw over here once. And again, another screw on this side. Imagine that this is what you have to do in order to just replace a failed drive. 
I cannot believe this. You will notice that this side, this part over here, you just push it in like this with one finger and it comes off. Now be very careful because it does have a fan connector on it. The drive inside this particular unit is actually mounted in a shock chassis and it is held in place by friction. In this case what we do is we remove the um, serial ATA interface that just releases everything on the drive and the whole thing at this point you simply apply a little bit of leverage again everything is held in place in friction however once you're done this is what it looks like here is your case here are your SATA connectors inside here and the controller board are the actual drives in this particular case Seagate 7211.11 one terabyte each, so in my hand I hold two terabytes. Tell it to someone that it could be possible ten years ago and they would kill you. But there you have it. The whole shock mounting frame does come off very easily. It appears to be possible to connect uh, to hook up anyway. However, the ridges that are over here are supposed to be on the outside. Reassembly of this unit is the reverse of its assembly. My name is Leonid Knashov. I am with a website called harddiskcrashed.com. If you found that your if you have found that your hard disk has crashed and you need professional assistance in getting the data back from it, please do visit my website which is harddiskcrashed.com.